Hey everybody, Straight Out Billy here doing song number 800 in 800 days in a row. We started doing one song every day on August 7th of 2020. And here we are trimming over the cords <laughs> uh, 800 days later. Doing another one. We're going to keep on doing one song every day until homeless dogs and cats are no longer euthanized in the shelters across the country because they are extras, because they can't take care of them anymore, because the shelters have uh, fill up and they run out of space and they have to start euthanizing the ones who have been there the longest. A terrible tragedy. This has been going on for decades and decades and decades. We've got to stop it. Stray dog. I co-founded that shelter back in... 1994, and we'll talk more about Stray Dog in a minute after today's song, uh, which is a Rolling Stone song called Start Me Up. Here we go, and yeah. short version just one verse stray dog no kill dog shelter my first wife late pat arnold who tragically suffered a brain aneurysm while she was out taking care of the dogs one day at the shelter back in 2003 and she passed on the next day very sad time she and i had started that shelter nine years earlier in 1994 we became a texas nonprofit corporation in 1997 with the official name Stray Dog Incorporated, and that led to being able to apply for and applying for 501c3 tax exempt status from the IRS, making all donations, all contributions to the shelter tax deductible to the fullest extent of the law. We are still going strong today at Stray Dog, now led by my second wife, Juan Obasque Sarnel, who had worked for Pat in the earlier years, and uh, she had to leave for a while, but she came back. After Pat passed on, we called her, and Pat had always said she was the best employee she ever had. She came back and, and helped us with, uh, run the shelter, and uh, she soon became the shelter director and has been ever since. Now, uh, we are still going strong today at Stray Dogs, still rescuing, rehabilitating, and adopting out formerly stray and other formerly homeless dogs and once in a while cats. And we're gonna keep on doing this till there is no more overpopulation problem across the United States of America. All 3,500 animal shelters in our country, all 3,500 are adopting out 3.2 million dogs and cats every year. This is the latest figure I found on Google. 
3,200,000. You divide that by 365, that's 8,800 dogs and cats adopted out every single day. Every day this is going on. We are adopting that many out. All shelters, including stray dogs, include our, uh, deserve our financial support for this tremendous accomplishment. Now there's a very dark side to the overpopulation problem, a very sad side, very tragic side to the overpopulation problem. And that is that we as a society use, are allowing the use of euthanasia to get rid of the extras. When the shelters fill up, there's no more room. They have to start euthanizing the ones, that the, the, the animals who have been there the longest. Terrible tragedy. This has been going on for decades and decades and decades. We're still euthanizing today. 972, almost a thousand, 28 shy of a thousand dogs, every, and cats, every single day are still being euthanized. Now it was far worse. Uh, in 2011, it was uh, 7,000 per day instead of just 1,000. And, and uh, in 1970, it was 41,000 per day were being euthanized, were euthanized in the shelters across this country, 15 million that year. Terrible, terrible tragedy that this is going on and has been going on for decades and decades. What do we have to do to stop it? How can you stop it in addition to more and more adoptions? Remember, euthanasia is meant to be used just for terminally ill and fatally injured dogs and cats and other animals so they don't have to suffer. That's a good use of euthanasia. What do we have to do to stop its use to get rid of extras? Terrible, terrible tragedy that, that, that we allow this to happen. What do we have to do to stop it? We have to get control of conception. We have to stop conception. Stop conception. Stop conception. How do you stop conception in the dog and cat world? It's been around for decades and decades and decades also. It's called spay and neuter. We know how to do it. You know, anybody who doesn't want to castrate their male dog to get him a vasectomy. I've already checked with the vets. That's possible. Stop conception. We'll be back again tomorrow with another song from the Stray Dog Billy One Man Bland.